happens. The EMP threat, indeed. That, again, would be a massive punch to the Facebook. Gary McKinnon, a cyber cult hero who hacked into the Pentagon years ago, is nearing the end of his appeals to prevent his extradition from the U.K. The U.S. military wants to make McKinnon an anti-hacking poster boy, as Gary himself summarizes it. Quote, every one of us has at one time or another fantasized about staying up all night, smoking weed, and hacking into top-secret U.S. government computers. End quote, as Jeffrey Wansell writes in a recent OurStrangeWorld.com article called The UFO Hacker's Last Stand. You gotta like the style. McKinnon is perhaps even an anti-hero raging against the system. The UFO hacker's extradition at last check is on hold due to a review of McKinnon's medical condition, Asperger's Syndrome. What did he see? Lists of non-terrestrial ships and crew members, also materials on free energy. Should also be noted that Gary McKinnon is a 9-11 truther. NASA called for a press conference this past Thursday, making reference to astrobiology finding and search for extraterrestrial life. DailyGalaxy.com speculated on what this was going to be. Was this going to be life on Saturn's moon Titan? We'll let you know in just a few minutes with the update. But we also want to mention where we'll see you, and of course that'd be on the dark side of the moon, 2016. Lockheed Martin engineers want to send astronauts into stationary orbit above the dark side of the moon, according to the Daily Mail. The orbit attained with a combined gravity of the Earth and moon at the second Lagrange point makes it possible. Are we going back to the moon? You could even ask the question, did we ever go in the first place? But that's not something we're going to get into right here and now. We also want to make a note about Sumerians and the Anunnaki because, as we have not mentioned on